running out of service for nearly two months. The Skokie Yellow Line is set to resume service tomorrow morning. Yeah, the train line was down after a crash on the tracks that sent several people to the hospital. And WJN's Jewel Hillary live near the Howard Street Station tonight with the latest details. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Micah and Ray. CTA officials say they have operated a number of yellow line test trains leading up to the yellow line starting back up again tomorrow morning. They say they've also worked very closely over the past several weeks with the National Transportation Safety Board to review and make improvements on the train line for passengers. We have injured people on this, on this train here. On the morning of November 16th, more than a dozen people were taken to local hospitals, three in critical condition after a yellow line train collided with a piece of snow equipment on the same track near Howard. On Friday, January 5th, the yellow line will reopen. I think that's a good thing, especially for people that have to get on the yellow line to come here to get on the purple line or the red line. Since the accident, a shuttle has picked up yellow line passengers, which hasn't been the best experience for some CTA riders. From what my coworker was telling me, having to stand down here waiting for the shuttle is very unsafe. To determine what caused the November accident, the National Transportation Safety Board was called in to investigate. A preliminary report found CTA braking distance specifications were likely too short to avoid the collision. From tracks and signals to train operations and communications. CTA officials say since the collision, they have thoroughly examined all yellow line operations to ensure passenger safety. As the yellow line reopens, CTA President Dorval Carter says out of an abundance of caution, they are making several interim safety enhancements, including reducing speed from 55 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour. The line has also been power washed to clear debris. There will also be extra communication known as manual blocking for vehicles like snow plows. This measure requires rail cars and non transport equipment to move only after getting an OK from the CTA command center. Additionally, supervisors will join operators for the first few yellow line runs. While improvements are coming to the yellow line, Victoria says she is concerned about safety as a whole across the entire CTA and hopes for more security soon. You don't feel safe anymore. You you just don't. And that makes it harder for people just trying to get to work or get home. Now the final NTSB report detailing exactly what caused November's collision is expected to be released sometime later this year. And again, the yellow line is expected to resume service beginning tomorrow morning at about 4.45 a.m. Reporting live tonight near the Howard Red Line, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.